This is Antonio Wells of AndroidTap.com, the world's leader in Android app reviews. Find the best Android app recommendations on AndroidTap.com. Announced here at CES, world's first Android 3.0 honeycomb device. Also first tablet with uh, dual-core processing uh, and the first HD display. So this is a full HD 10.1 inch uh, display. So it's really the combination of software, hardware and all of the uh, technology brought together. In terms of some of the basic specs, we've got dual camera, so front-facing camera for video chat, and rear-facing camera for 5 megapixel camera, plus also HD video capture, dual LED flash, dual uh, speakers, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and then volume up and down keys. So that's a basic overview of the hardware. In terms of software, uh, we've got these videos to run through to show you some of the sneak peeks of what uh, all of the Google services basically are being overhauled for Honeycomb and this tab. Starting off with the browser, I can have these scrollable widgets right on my home screen. So instead of going into the web browser, I can go straight to the uh, pages that I want. Call up a famous website, and you'll see here multiple tabs. So first time on Android, I've got multi-tab browsing. Because it supports Adobe Flash Player 10.1, all of this video content plays straight back within the web browser. Uh, so people want the web browsing experience they want from the PC. Again, it's the software and the hardware that are capable uh, of delivering that. Thumbnail view of all my favorite web uh, bookmarks in the usual way. Again, these are scrollable. And then the other new thing is incognito mode, so I can switch off the browsing history. A lot of people use their tablets around multiple people in families, so the option to switch off that history. Uh, we've gone through uh, HD video playback, so movies were made for this tablet and yeah. tablets were made for these movies. It's a uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio um, and plays it in HD. So it really is like whipping my password screen off the wall and taking it with me. Beautiful, crisp uh, display. Uh, Google Books, another service that's been completely overhauled. Again, you see this beautiful interface where I pull up my books carousel and I scroll through thumbnail views of my books. All of these are downloaded to my device. And when I open up the book, they remember where I left it, be it I read it on my Android phone, my tablet, or indeed my PC. Again, I have these scrollable widgets, so any books that I've got stored on the device, I just flick through to get to the book that I want to read. And then it picks up immediately where I left the book, so I can carry on reading. That will rotate, so again, uh, portrait landscape mode. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, I can take you through Google Maps. So Google Maps, Google Maps 5.0, again overhauled, all touch based. So as I'm scrolling around now, I'm using multi-touch sc uh, scrolling uh, to get around my maps. Over a hundred cities have already got this 3D view, so I have this building view of maps, so it's kind of a hybrid between Google Earth and Google Maps. Uh, it's coming to more and more cities, yeah, obviously they're building up the data uh, city by city. Uh, currently there's a hundred cities in the US, yeah, I'm not sure about the international. This is street view, so I'm pinching and zooming uh, as I'm going through street view, uh, which is really cool. What else we got here? Uh, G-Talk. Uh, because I've got front-facing webcam with G-Talk, uh, any of my contacts are in my uh, Gmail service that have a video cam will be notified by the green video camera and instantly, instantly I start a uh, video cam. Obviously it depends on the camera that they've got and also the connection uh, speed that they've got. So a lot of components uh, go to the quality of the video. Camera definition. The camera is a 3 megapixel on the front, 5 megapixel on the back. Correct. 
What else have we got here? Um, also take you through Gmail. Gmail's game all touch based. Uh, we also support uh, with our smart accessories uh, docking for the full uh, Bluetooth keyboard, uh, which we've just developed the world's first Android developed keyboard, but also a wide keyboard with a uh, uh, USB uh, based connector. It's actually a model in there that can be inserted. So it's, it's, a, it's a technician um, operation. If not, Again, I'm just scrolling through touch. Uh, supports uh, all the Microsoft Office uh, uh, capabilities through uh, Office Live. And obviously, uh, cloud based computing with uh, Google Docs and the likes.